Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, welcome to EE391 MM391. Um, this is uh, uh, maintenance, reliability, and engineering economics. We are having uh, lectures in engineering economics, and I welcome you all after our uh, public holiday yesterday. And I hope you have had a good and relaxing Diwali yesterday. Uh, we will continue from wherever we left off. Uh, we were looking at uh, uh, gradient, how to deal with gradient. Uh, we will start to look at some other problems. And um, and I hope that uh, you guys are able to benefit from our lectures. Uh, by the way, um, if you could, um, uh, if you could please put your name and student ID into the uh, Zoom chat box so that I can have your attendance uh, and I will use this for your exemptions as well. Uh, by the way, uh, I hope you can hear me clearly, uh, Hafiz uh, and Babish, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, you guys can hear me, right? All right, okay. Let's share the screen. I'm going to share the screen now. I'm sharing my Microsoft Word document. Are you able to see this clearly, guys? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, so we are on... Uh, um, we are on week 11. We are on week 11, lecture 3. This is the last lecture for this week. Okay. And today's date is the... Today's date is the um, 5th of November. All right. There we go. All right. Let's look at this particular problem on capitalized value, right? Up till now, we were looking at different types of cash flow. Uh, we looked at, uh, basically, we've, we've looked at, um, if you look at our formula sheet, we've looked at uh, compounding and discounting. That's a very simple concept. That's what we started off with. Then we were looking at annuities. Well, the annuities, uh, you know, uh, annuity. Then the last one which we looked at was gradient. All right. The last one which we looked at was gradient. Now, let us now apply our knowledge. Let us now apply our knowledge uh, and actually uh, get some benefit out of all these different types of, uh, different types of uh, things which we were learning. All right. Let's have a look at this problem here. I'm going to read the problem out. Two major civil engineering project alternatives are being considered. All right. Below are the costs associated with uh, below are the costs associated uh, with each project. All right. So there's two alternatives. Okay. Uh, assume both project alternatives have infinite lives. All right. Remember, there's always an end of life, and there's always after the end of life there is a um, you know, salvage value, but in this case, there is infinite life. Compare the present worth of the two alternatives using an interest rate of 8%. Which alternative should be chosen? All right. Okay. All right. So there's the there's the particular project A, and there's project B. All right. Uh, there's project A and there's project B. All right. So project A is uh, 650,000 and project B is 230,000. Now let's have a look at this table here. This is first cost. Another name for first cost. Can somebody give me another name for first cost? Whenever we're doing a project or an investment, well, what do we call this first cost? Another name. Can somebody give me? Let's see. 
investment i mean yes yes initial investment of is you've got the track initial investment initial investment all right so some people call that an initial investment some people call that uh, uh, first cost and so forth all right so for project a the initial investment is 650k and for project b it's 230k now the maintenance cost for project a is 5000 per annum and for project b is 13500 per annum all right okay now um um the um what do you call the um uh, for project a there is an intermittent maintenance every 15 years i mean for project a it seems that there is uh, no other maintenance apart from the annual maintenance you see in project a annually you're going to do 5000 per annum and project b is 13500 per annum right and um, uh, it seems that apart from that in project a that was the only maintenance cost but in project b it seems that every 15 years you've got to put in you've got to put in a uh, a uh, particular uh, you've got to put in a particular amount of ninety thousand dollars in order to in order to uh, in order to understand in, in order to uh, you know get that particular project operational so we want to calculate what we want to do is we want to calculate the uh, the, the the two uh, present values all right okay okay now uh, All right. Now, what we do is let's do a comparison. Ta oh, we can do it side by side, right? Uh, let's now look at project A. Let's do a comparator. Okay, let's do project A. Okay, so the uh, the present, you see, it's saying compare and find the present worth. When we, you see this word, the present worth. Present worth is actually the same as finding the present value of the expense. All right, now present worth. For project A, the present worth is equal to Firstly, can you tell me what is the initial investment? That's going to happen at the beginning of the year. 650,000. Yeah, no issues there. Plus, plus 5,000 per year. 5,000 per annum. 5,000 per annum. For... For how many years? For how many years? Let me know. Have a look at this question. I want you to read. By the way, guys, you don't have to uh, write down the questions here. You, I, I've supplied the questions to you on the Moodle shell. Okay. Now tell me, how many years, guys? How many years do we have to calculate this? You see, usually all our projects, you always had a timeline. Can you see in problem three, it said five years. In problem uh, two, in problem two, there was five intervals, five years. In problem uh, one, there was five years. Well, always five, but you get the point. There's always different values, all right? Okay, there was eight periods in this one. In problem seven over here, all right? 10 years there's always a timeline what can you tell me about this particular problem what is different in this particular problem anyone yes tabake it's ongoing right and can you see we realize that hang on there is no time limit 
in this problem there is no time limit there is no uh, stated end of life for this project for this particular project so how do we handle this remember it says 650,000, that's a one-off expense, our initial investment. I'm looking at Project A, right? And uh, $5,000 per annum for maintenance. But for how many years? So how do we calculate the P-value from the annuity? All right, so now we've got to, we've got to look at some, some other things over here. Okay, we've got to look at some other aspects. So, in order to solve this problem, in order to solve this problem, we have to do a side example. To demonstrate dealing with... Uh, problems where there are no time limits all right let's do this side example guys okay let us now let me just share the board quickly. Let us consider this problem. Let's say we uh, we want to find the present value and this is a side example just to demonstrate the thing. Okay, so let's, uh, there is an annuity, so let's say there is a initial, initial thing, there is an annuity, okay, there is an annuity, let's say it's an annual maintenance costs, right? And let's say the annuity is at the value of, um, let us say it's $1,000 per year, right? $1,000 uh, maintenance cost per year. This is a side example, right? right? And this thing goes on and on and on. Can you see 
I've drawn this thing here. Can you see my my symbolism? It's very important to get the sim symbols right, right? Um, and let us say uh, I want to find what is the present value, right? I want to find the present value. Can you see? So I'm not saying that this thing is only going to last four years. I'm saying that this will continue forever, right? So uh, let's uh, maybe this this example is let's say let's say from a, from a think point of view. Um, let us say that um, this particular um, this this particular scenario is a student takes a loan from tells uh, to pay his uh, university expenses right university uh, fees okay so this is this is a good example all right okay now let me just uh, save this so that uh, we we have this here Please bear with me. Okay. All right. So basically, uh, let's look at this particular cash flow diagram, right? Uh, a student takes a loan to pay his university fees, right? And we know that he has a four-year, you know, he's going to pay fees for semester one, $1,000, semester two, $1,000. Oh, well, it says per year. Okay, so $1,000 per year, right? Okay, and he's doing it part-time, right? We have to find the p-value. Actually, this is not a good example. I, I wouldn't say university fees. I would say a student uh, pays maintenance. Uh, uh, well, let's just assume this, all right? Okay, now, uh, because in this particular scenario, the thing continues till infinity. Now, what is the p-value, guys? What is the p-value? All right, so how do we handle this? Well, what we first got to do is, um, you know... Uh, We've got to we've got to realize that our our interest oh our interest right oh sorry our interest rate over here let us give it a simple interest rate is ten percent okay our interest rate is ten percent now. Um, we want to find what is the effect of this annuity. How much do we have to budget for this? Okay. How much? How much does the lending agency have to budget? How much does tells have to have to budget? So that is basically our P. Okay. All right. This is we are looking at it from a from a tells point of view. Okay. Now, uh, we when we look at our interest over here, guys. Our interest is equal to principal in simple terms, guys. In simple terms, principal times rate okay principal times rate yeah okay our interest is equals to principal times rate now um maybe i i i i i still got to think of a better way to word this problem but just just have a look at this right our interest is equals to principal times rate Right. Okay. So maybe let me reword the problem. Now, tells 
gives loans to students tells the the tells management management wishes to invest a large sum of money into a bank so that the interest is used to pay for annual uh, is used to pay for uh, students fees all right how much does tell have to budget and and invest in in a bank account with returns of 10% per year okay i just made this question all right so just to give you a good example i just putting it in line now all right okay have a look at this guys okay so tells is a is a, is a you know tertiary loan scheme right they wish to uh, invest a large sum of money into a bank so that the interest from that bank is used to pay for students fees they don't want to touch this p right they want to put a principal in and then every year the little growth there is they want to take that little growth they want to take that little growth and pay for the fees okay they want to take that little growth and pay for the fees of the student right how much should this p be so that it can meet one thousand dollars per year so remember this annuity right the the annuity is actually equal to the interest right returns from interest right returns from interest the i is equal to 10 percent so interest rate is equals to principles times rate right so p times times r and we know that our particular our particular interest is going to be one thousand dollars per year our principal is unknown but our rate is ten percent so therefore our principal will equal to one thousand dollars divided by zero point one so our principal should equal to ten thousand dollars all right so this is the thing they wanted a one thousand dollar return per year so that they can pay off they can pay the uh, you know um, uh, so that they can pay um, um, uh, the fees every year one thousand dollars so for each student right uh, for each student they've got to invest ten thousand dollars into the bank which is returning 10% per annum right which is returning 10% per annum so we went backwards to calculate and this is an infinity sort of inf situation that money that principal will never finish because you don't touch the principal in fact this is the same way FNPF and all our superannuation bodies work all right okay all right so if we look here, that money, that $1,000 per return per year will continue till infinity, until that particular bank is paying out 10,000, 10% per annum. Right now, let's now flip back to this. We did this side example, maybe I'll put the side example early on, right? We did this side example in order to demonstrate how we deal with situation where there is no time limit, all right? okay let's now come back to problem number let's now come back to uh to problem number four okay so we were looking at project a present worth is equal to right present worth is equal to 
So let's uh, maybe do a very quick uh, diagram for uh, for project A. Let's do a very quick diagram for project A. Okay. And, you know, we don't have to draw all of the years. All right. Now, um, our present was our initial investment was this much, right? That was our initial investment. Then we had annual maintenance cost. Let me put it in another color. Then we had annual maintenance costs. of 5,000 per annum. And that continues. Can you see my line continues over here? So my original investment my original investment P my first cost was initial investment was equal to how much was it guys it was 650,000 and my annual maintenance was equal to 5,000 per annum right and that goes till infinity Oh, of course, I've forgotten to do something over here. I've forgotten to put the timeline. And that continues. Okay. All right. Now, we want to calculate what is the final... What is the final cost of this particular vehicle or whatever it is? It seems like a vehicle because you pay an original amount, then you, it's like some big machinery of some sort. Okay. It's some big machinery of some sort. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, we are not sure as to how or what, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, what is the total cost to you as the customer in the, beginning all right Okay, so having a look at that, so what we want to do is we want to calculate our, our present value, present worth and present value is the, is the present value of these expenses. So we know that that will be the initial investment plus $5,000 for, for uh, infinite. Infinite years, there is no end of life, okay? So how do we deal this? So we know that the $650,000 is here. There should have been another arrow going downwards in color green or something saying that that's PA, right? So we want to know the net effect, the total effect of these two. Well, we know the effect of this one. That's simple. But we don't know the effect of this. Well, we can't use P given A. Why can't we use P given A? Because in P given A, you need to know the timeline. You need to know how many years. You need to know the number n. But in this case, you don't know the number n. So, uh, what is a equal to in this case? Well, the a will equal to, what is the a equal to, guys? 
What is the E equal to? Let's now look at our example. Let's now roll back. How do we calculate our A? A will equal to $1,000 per year divided by, what is the interest rate on this? Okay, so it will be $1,000 per annum divided by 8%, which is equal to $1,000 divided by 0 0.08. Answer is sorry. This is not a. This is the this is the um, the p from the maintenance. Sorry, five thousand dollars. Yes. $5,000 per annum. So, PM. P from the maintenance. Okay? So, what do we get, guys? $62,500. That is the effect of P. So, we say that PA is equals to 650 plus PM. All right. Therefore, our PA is equal to what we have 62,500. And the final answer, what do we get? Yes, Luf Cash. Seventy-one thousand. All right, there we go. All right, now let's look at Project B. Okay, let's look at Project B. All right, guys, let's look at Project B. Let's look at now compare Project B. In Project B, so I think this project, uh, I didn't define it clearly in this example. It's like you have bought, uh, uh, in Project A, it's you have bought a new house, right? You are building a new house, right? And you have very minimal maintenance costs, only 5,000 per year. Project B, you have bought like a very much older house. It's got a... But you bought it for cheaper because it's a it's an older house, right? You bought it for cheaper. It's got a higher annual maintenance cost, and in fifteen years' time, you have to change the whole roof. In fifteen years' time, you have to change the whole roof. All right. Okay. So, project B. P B. Right, that's the present value from B, present worth. When we say present worth, basically we are referring to, uh, uh, we are basically referring to scenario where you have thing. All right. So you, uh, what, what, what do we get? Let's let's do a quick timeline, a uh, quick thing over here, uh, cash flow diagram. Remember, in your exam scenario, you will always have to have some cash flow diagram. Okay. And then that's 15, 
okay and we have an initial investment here we have an initial investment and then we have some smaller investments uh, some maintenance costs let me put it in a different color we have maintenance costs going all the way all the way home all right all the way that doesn't finish that goes forever so your maintenance maintenance is equals to uh, how much was it guys 13,500 per annum per annum this was the initial investment of of 230,000 that was the initial investment of 230,000 but there is a catch there is a major catch right in this particular scenario we have another guy right we have another one okay we have another large transaction here a large sink of 15,000 so this is something which happens only every uh, sorry, 90,000, which happens only every 15 years. Okay, set. So now, but we know that this guy here also happens every 15 years. Right. Now, how do we handle this particular situation? Okay. Okay, what is PB equal to? PB is the is the present worth of B, right? For those of you who don't know, PB would occur over here. Now, all right, in the similar manner, we will have 230,000 plus, how would we handle the maintenance? How will we handle the maintenance? How will we handle the maintenance? Well, maintenance is uh, same thing, right? It's the same way how we handle it in Project A. And then there is the the P from the 15-year expense. 15-year expense, okay? So the P from the 15-year expense. So let's now go ahead and calculate PM. Let's now calculate PM. okay what is pm equal to guys pm would equal to uh, in the same way in which we did the other one it'll be 13500 divided by the interest rate the interest rate is eight percent so you have 13500 divided by 0 0.08 what do we get yes what do we get? We get uh, 6168 All right, thank you. All right, now that's done. So we've got two down. We've got the initial investment. So basically maybe the proper way to write this formula would have been we find the the present value. So this is the the P first, yeah, okay, first cost, okay, 
this is the P first cost. All right, the P first cost, uh, the PB, which is the present worth of uh, of the, all these expenses. Right. Remember, there's three classes of expenses. There's the initial expense, there's the annual maintenance, and then there's the 15-year cycle of ninety thousand. All right. So, uh, so, so we get the present value of all those three, and we sum it together. Right, so we've done the first two. Let's now find what is our 15-year expense. Okay, 15-year expense. How do we deal in the? How do we deal with this particular? So there's something else now. Um, what we've got to do is we've got to find right. We've got to find the um, we've got to find the the value of this particular fifteen year thing, right? Remember, we've got at least one timeline. We've got to convert in order to find that, right? We've got to convert. We've got to convert this into an annuity, right? So we've got to convert the uh, the ninety k, which occurs every fifteen years, into an annuity, right? We've got to convert the the 90k which occurs every 15 years into an annuity see we've already we already know so what we are doing is we want we we think of this of a future value think of the particular uh, think of the um, the 90k as uh, as a future value and convert yeah convert the um, the f into a right what formula do we get what formula do we get yes a given f we have to use a given f have i used a given f early on Somewhere here. A given F. Did we use any A given F? All right. Just so that I don't need to retype the the formula, guys. That's why I'm I'm doing this. Okay. That's why I always go back and look for our formula. A given F. All right. Okay. So what is our A over here? Our A, uh, I mean uh, our F, our F is ninety thousand, right? Our F is ninety thousand, and our interest rate. What is our interest rate? That's eight percent. Okay, our interest rate is eight percent. We know our timeline now is fifteen years, and what do we get, guys? What answer do we get? Anyone? What answer do we get? Yes. 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 All right. Now, if that's our A, now we can now convert that A into, we can then convert
convert the this a this a of uh, this amount, right? I hope your answers are correct. Three three one four, right? Is it thirty three thousand or is it three thousand? Guys, can you correct me? Is it thirty three thousand or is it three thousand, guys? Hello. Three thousand. All right. Now this amount will run forever right so we can now see that the this expense will equal to this 3000 divided by 0 0.08 which is equal to What amount do we get? Yes, 41,000. This is 41,000. So in the end, our PB will equal to, how much is that guys? Let's sum that up. That's the 41,000 plus, maybe I should have written step one, step one and step two, right? So what amount do we get? What is our total PB in the end? Present, uh, present worth, guys? Four hundred and forty thousand all right so in the end let's compare our present worth from project a and present worth from project b from project a the present worth was seven hundred thousand from project B, the present worth was 440,000. So what was more costly for you guys? What was more costlier? Well, it is project A is much more costlier. Even though the maintenance seems cheaper, it is much, much more costlier. So from the customer's point of view, this would be the better project. Project B is the better project. Okay? is the better project okay all right all right guys so that's how we do this particular type of problem and the key part is the key difference is to understand how we uh, were converting this annuity if an annuity runs forever if an annuity runs forever then what do we do all right that side example is very important Okay, uh, that's it for uh, this morning. Um, we will catch up with each other again on Monday. And I will be giving an extension on uh, this week's, um, uh, sorry, the week, week 10 uh, lecture example. Guys, I also want to announce that we will be having a short test sometime in week 13. All right, 12 or 13. Uh, I'll discuss with you more next week. It won't be next week but it'll be a very short test one hour all right okay guys uh that's it for this morning i want to finish the lecture off early this morning because there is a tsunami drill and uh, we'll finish it off here now all right thank you so much for attending and we'll see you on monday goodbye